Hello everyone, my name is Vicki Bowden and I'm the Vice Provost at Azusa Pacific University. Today on APU Selects, we're gonna feature the film, Life on Film, Julie. I first met Julie in 1998. She was one of my students while I was a professor in the School of Nursing. In 2000, Julie took a trip, a missions trip to Kenya, and her heart was convinced that that's where she needed to be. After she graduated, she went and worked in Kenya and through that process developed Living Room International Ministries. I love Julie. I love her heart that's full of caring and compassion towards others. But I also love that she has taken that compassion and turned it into action. Join me in watching Life on Film, Julie. Julie's story of love. Na mimi kwa jina naitwa David Kibet. Na mimi ni mwathiriwa wa ugonjwa wa, wa ukimwi. Paka nilikuwa nimeshindu hata kuamuka na singeweza kuamuka mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa nikiamushwa na kienda inje na kurudisha kwa nyumba. Na Julia alikuwa ni kama malaika kwangu kwa sababu alikuja na kunisaidia sana kwa sababu watu wengi walikuwa menitaroka. Na e, kitu ambaye nilifanya nikajua ya E, Julia amekuwa ni kama mwokozi kwangu ni ya kwamba aliweza kuniamusha na kuweza kunishikilia na kuniongelesha kwa njia nzuri na watu wengi walikuwa wanantaroka Santeni sana Thank you very much e, na, sh na shukuru I was a student at APU and it was my junior year, uh, a friend of mine in the nursing school, she wanted to go on a short-term trip with the summer missions program to Kenya and she didn't want to go to the information meeting by herself. In that meeting I just really sensed this invitation to come and be a part of the experience of what was going on here in Kenya. My eyes were open to poverty in a new way and not just the hard things about Africa, but also really beautiful things. I moved here in 2004 and worked for Empowering Lives International with Don Rogers for five years. I would go on home visits with our, we had a small Kenyan team and it was, it was a big challenge for me to go and to sit with people and to be confronted with their suffering and not know how to fix it. I began probably a year before stepping out of ELI to meet with Dawn and to talk about these are the things that are on my heart and there was responsibility because God was putting it in me that it needed to be done. I didn't come to fix. I came to be alongside. I came to realize that God was already present in the place. And so in 2009, we stepped out and we started a living room. Kimbilio is a Swahili phrase that means refuge, or a more direct translation is a place to run to. We believe that we're not just to take care of diseases that it's about holistic care, so it looks at physical, the emotional, and then spiritually, I believe that everything that we do with love, that it's holy to God. And so if I feed them and I do it with love, then it matters to God. And if they need to take a bath and they can't do it by themselves anymore, the dignifying thing to do is to do it with love and that it's, it matters. Let's try again. I work alongside of about 40 other Kenyans and I get to be one of them. I get to speak vision but I also get to learn and to release some of the vision to allow them to make it actually what God wants it to be. We are all a team and the things that we do they may look different but they all have to work together for our guests to be cared for in the way that they need to be. We have some people who come where they're so close to death. 
and they often feel alone and rejected. And you begin, little by little, <laughs> to just pour into their lives, to give them the medicine they need, to give them the food that's required, to love them, to recognize the value, the image of God that's within them. So we call it a Lazarus effect because we watch them come back to life. Welcome Center, a chapel right here where there will be a walkway into the gardens. So this will all be still a part of the garden. And then so the need for hospice and supportive care, it's huge and it's only growing. Our leadership teams, both in the, the U.S. and Kenya, we made a decision um, last year to go ahead and to look for a second site. And I can't even imagine a better property or view of gardens and just beauty, it really is this next step. Jesus told us to love God and to love our neighbors, and really that's what matters. And I think, you know, at APU we're given a lot of skills and tools to go into the world and to do those things. I feel like we get to be on this bridge where it's somehow in between the space of the world and all of its priorities and values and heaven. And it's an interesting space, but we get to walk alongside people and usher them. We don't get to go with them, but we sometimes sing until they take their final breath and then they get to be in the presence of Jesus. And I imagine a whole host of people, children and adults who've died in this space, they get to welcome them. And what we can't see, they can now see in full. Yeah.